Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is David Brooks, the Cadillac Counselor, coming at you to tell you a little bit what's going on my mind. And I'm telling you right now, there's a lot going on my mind. And there's one particular guy that I'm going to talk about today, and his name is Carl Hart. If you don't know Carl Hart, <laughs> you will get to know him a little bit better. And I'm going to talk about the Kardashians and, and Kanye West because, I mean, it's a mental health issue and I got something I need to say. So before I get into it, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe because it always helps me. Comments, likes, do what you do. All right, here we go. So now we got a professor over at Columbia University, chairman of the psychology department. Now, this fool here, and I'm going to say it, I'm going to just say what I got to say, but this fool here is trying to advocate that heroin, molly, MDMA, uh, amphetamines is good for you. Now, 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 listen to me, listen to me. Now, he's on a sabbatical right now, and I, it, look, spewing this type of stuff, no wonder, but I'm going to tell you this. This is the type of rhetoric that I was talking about the other night with the Biden speech, with the town hall meeting, when he kept saying some different things. But let's talk about, let's talk about old Carl for a second. I'm going to give you a little updates, all right? So right now, uh, he has a book called uh, Drug Use for Grownups, Chasing Liberty in the Land of Fear. People, listen to me. I don't care how much intelligence you have, but this man has been using heroin for about six, seven years, okay? He's in his late 40s. He's been doing it since his late 40s, and now he's 54 years old. As much progress as we've made in just drugs, rehabilitation, trying to understand how to get people off, now we got a doctorate. Someone with a doctorate saying that, like, this reminds me of some old Freud stuff. You know, with Freud, man, you know, he was doing a little, a little thunty, a little cocaine sniffs. But, I mean, but my thing is he didn't push it, you know? Like, like he did a couple articles on drugs and here and there. But this dude here, come on now, listen to what he says. He says, he says, the use of heroin can be as rational as using alcohol like vacation, sex, even art. Heroin is one of the tools that I use to maintain my work-life balance. Fool, come on now. Come on now. In the book, Hart claims that he snorted small lines of heroin as many as 10 days in a row, enjoying this experience, even though he would go through mild withdrawal symptoms. Come on now. Ain't nobody trying to be on going through heroin withdrawals. Come on now. Man, man this dude is just, I, I mean, so this is what, what Mr. Hart says when he got interviewed by the insiders, is that he wants President Biden to federally decriminalize drug possession and hope that the country moves towards a federal regulation and licensing for all substances. Just like Biden said, nobody should go to jail for a drug offense. No one should go to jail for the use of drugs. They should all go to rehabilitation. No one should go to jail for a drug offense. No one should go to jail for the use of a drug. They should go to drug rehabilitation. Drug rehabilitation, number one. But see, this is different. Biden did say that he wants people to go to rehabilitation. But this dude here is just saying decriminalize it because it's enjoyable and that that it just shouldn't be anything that people should be able to use it. And he said, he said, honestly, the only reason why people are even overdosing is because they're getting fentanyl and other drugs trying to be sneaky. So what he's saying is, is ultimately, if we just let it be done, go out there and get it, then heroin will go back to it. You can't even hardly find heroin. You got to be a professor to really find pure heroin. You can't even find it nowadays. It's only fentanyl. 
because the people don't have the money. So now this dude is just on a whole nother thing. So now he says this. He says they just need cleaner supplies and better education. Then he even goes on to say our founding documents guarantee three birthrights, and that's life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And he feels like when he does his MDMA, that the intense feeling is so pleasurable and, and gratitude, and he gets a lot of energy. He even said, even he said, when I'm rolling, I, I just want to breathe deeply enjoying it. And the simple act of breathing can extremely be pleasurable. He even said that he uses bath salts and that bath salts are unequivocally wonderful. Man, this dude is an idiot. For real. Like, this is straight up idiocracy. Kim Kardashian, Kanye West. They've been married for about roughly about six and a half years. All right. And representatives said that um, Kim Kardashian has um, has filed in the Los Angeles Supreme Court for divorce. I don't even know how they made it this long, to be honest, because I'm going to tell you, Kim Kardashian, to me, she is a pure idiot. I mean, she's been on porn tapes. I mean, she's been on everything. She's been through the whole gamut. This chick has had it all. And she, it, come on now. Come on now. Now, a couple of them other sisters, that they're a little bit better. They got their head on a little bit better. So when she keeps talking about well, Kanye West's mental health, I'm trying to wonder, like, what you got going on? Like, like I see that, like when I watch that show, I see a whole bunch of codependency. I see a whole bunch of entitlement. I see a whole bunch of just everything. Like mental health, you want to talk about mental health? I think a whole family got got some type of mental health. I think it's one of them little Jenna girls that seem like she got her head on straight, but the rest of them. Come on now. Now, look at this. Now, they started dating in 2012. They had a baby north in 2013. Ever since then, they have been just doing, I mean, he proposed to her at the Giants game in San Francisco. I mean, just, I mean, their ceremony was in, in, in Florence, Italy. I mean, they've had it all. What's going on? I mean, but they, I mean, but ever since they've been married, they've been doing all kinds of stuff, just going doing things. I mean, they took uh, north to uh, New Jerusalem uh, to get baptized. I mean, um, they've been to Paris. You remember when Kim got robbed? Oh my God, that was like it was just a whole nother thing. And then you got the Taylor Swift issue. It's in the public. Like you people are crazy. <laughs> Yo, Taylor, I, I'm really happy for you. I'm going to let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. It ain't just Kanye. It ain't just Kanye, for real. But I'm going to tell you like this. The last straw for me was when he went and tried to run for president. I mean, it just, come on now, what are you doing? You got me? They even said that that he didn't even make the deadline appearances to even be president. So really, man, this was just a whole big cold thing. And now people are ripping up Kanye. All of her, friend, uh, all of her fans is ripping up Kanye. This is what she writes. And I just, hey, I'm going to just give it to you. He is a brilliant but complicated person that has pressures of being an artist and a black man. Come on now. Come on now. That not now. He ain't got the same pressures that every black man got, but that's neither no here nor there. Who experienced a painful loss of his mother and, and and has to deal with all the pressures of isolating because of his heightened bipolar. Those who are close to Kanye know his heart and understand his words. Sometimes it just doesn't align with his intentions. So what are you getting a divorce for? I mean, even back in July 2020, Kanye said, man, I got a divorce, the Kardashians, period, just the whole family. He said that, that, that Kris Jenner has been trying to get him to go to psychiatric treatment. 
Now, does he need some type of treatment? Man, he need to be on. I don't know what kind of doctor he need, but he needs something. But come on now. This dude's been had bipolar back from whenever he did. Man, everybody could see that something was wrong with it. Now you get a divorce. You just canceled the Kardashian show. I just believe she's just moving on. It's just time to move on because they don't need no man. You could see in the videos, in the in the shows, they don't really need a man. Like they got all the money they ever want. They just got men just to be part of the picture, just to put somebody on their arm. Who do they choose? That's it. Other than that, they don't need anything else. But this car heart though, that fool there, man, go check him out. It's just, just go check him out, man, because that dude is really putting us backwards just in, in all kinds of ways. It's the Cadillac Council. Take it easy. Bye. <laughs>